We moved into our new home a while back and one of the first things we did was put a pool in. Now if you look closely, you might notice there's something missing around this pool. Absolutely nowhere to sit and it looks like a pool in a cage, completely surrounded by the fence. There is a reason for that. We've been waiting for some renovations to be designed so we weren't quite sure where a deck was going to sit. Well now I'm ready to go, I'm going to put a deck in and it's a deck with a difference because it's going to be completely timber free in its construction. Before we get started we need a clear workspace so the fencing comes down and the posts come out. Just because you're working around a pool doesn't mean you can leave it open. You still need to have a fence that complies with safety standards. If you're not putting a permanent fence back straight away, you need to install standards approved temporary pool fencing. You can hide this by the panel and it's simple to install. Once installed, make sure it doesn't have any climbable areas and that the gaps underneath and between panels are no greater than 10 centimetres. This is probably the most important part of installing your temporary fence the right way. The brackets. They're the bits that turn them from individual fence panels into one long continuous and secure fence. There are two important things that you need to do. Make sure the nuts of the brackets are on the inside of the pool so little fingers can't get to them and undo them from the outside and they also need to be really tight. Our galvanised steel deck frame comes prefabricated. Although it's galvanised, because it's beside a saltwater pool, we're painting all surfaces with a heavy duty rust proofing paint. While that's all drying, we're familiarising ourselves with the assembly instructions and starting on the set out and excavation for the post holes. This cantilevered post hole digger is an awesome way to excavate. It can rip through holes up to 360mm wide and over 900mm deep. Once the holes are dug, the surface needs to be tidied up so there are no drainage obstructions under the finished deck. The hardy deck system we're using has edge caps around the sides. These firmly hold the deck boards along the edge and provide a neat finish. They have to be fitted to the outside edge of our beams running the lengthwise direction of the boards. Because we're in a salt water environment, all of our fasteners need to be corrosion resistant, stainless steel or class 3 or above. The post heads are fixed onto the side beams following the spacings on the plans. These have been painted too. The main beams have a second beam fitted inside them. The two are then fastened together to create a hollow section. Spaces are marked on the inside face for the joists and the brackets added. The 90 by 90 mm steel tube is measured for the posts. This is the only metal cutting you need to do. Now don't try and dodge the safety gear, it's essential for this type of work. Get the steel up on the bench and get cutting. To keep cutting easy and accurate, use a metal cut-off drop saw. The bases are then screwed onto the cut posts. The partly assembled frame is propped in place and enough joists are added to stop it wobbling. The posts are then fitted and secured. Add the rest of the joists and check the level across the joists and side beams. The deck should fall away slightly from any buildings, or in this case from the pool. Concreting time. We went old school and mixed by hand. The gravel and sand was ordered pre-blended at the right ratio, so we just had to add the right amount of cement. A barrow like this with a pouring lip makes it super easy to drop your load exactly where you need it. Now we just need to leave everything sit for about 12 hours until the concrete set. I reckon this hardy deck is the easiest decking I've ever laid. The first board slots into the edge cap, the winged joiner then slots into the deck board, then the next board slots into the other side of the joiner. You then screw down through the centre of the joiner's channel into each joist. It all progresses pretty quickly. When you need to cut the hardy deck boards, the safest and easiest way is with a diamond bladed wet saw. This eliminates dust and gives a super clean cut. This handheld wet saw was excellent as you could bring the saw to the cut rather than moving material around. Hardy deck is extremely durable but it does need to be sealed or it can stain. So it's time to look at colours and then mask all the edges and trim before painting. You can use a clear sealer to retain the concrete look or paint it with any good quality paving paint tinted just about any colour you'd like. As our deck's in a wet area, special non-slip grit was added to the paint. It's important that the grit is well mixed through and stirred regularly during painting. Roller is the easiest way to apply and you'll need to splash on two coats. Once the paint sets, positions for the posts of the new pool safety fence can be marked out. We'll be installing a glass fence. Posts, or spigots, are generally around 20 to 40 centimetres in from the panel sides, and the gaps between the panels must be no more than 10 centimetres. And you want the spigots positioned so the grub screws are facing the least visible direction. Drill through, add the bolts, tighten up, carefully take the top off the bolts, and drop the cover plates on. It's all hands on deck once the glass arrives. The panels can weigh as much as 80 kilos each, so they're definitely a two-person carry. Gently lower the panels into place, check your spacings and measurements, and add any packers if required. Adjust the grub screws in the back side of the spigots. These secure the panels and help to straighten them. Do not over tighten the screws. One last finishing touch. The hardy deck system includes a snap-in top strip to conceal the screws and add a brilliant designer look. These clip into place and can be seated evenly using a non-marking rubber mallet. Done! 
We now have an awesome timber-free, rot-resistant deck around our pool. Roll on summer.